What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough, the event Pokemon series. So, in our last episode, we actually went into the Liberty Gardens and managed to capture Victini. Now it is time to do a 3-1 episode where we actually get Genesec, Miloetta, and Keldeo. Now, in this particular situation, since we don't have any more events and all that stuff in the Nintendo DS, we can actually have, uh, what was it, um, we actually have the action replay to do this uh, whole thing for us. The only thing is that if I click onto this screen right here, hold on, there we go. If we go straight into our Pokemon codes and click on, you know, if we put on the codes and all that stuff, we actually have to get the event Pokemon before we get the Pokemon itself. As you can see, we got Genesect, an event Pokemon right here. We got, let's see, Meloetta, another event Pokemon, and then we got Keldeo, the other event Pokemon right here. So these are three event Pokemon that will be needed in order to activate the other events. So first is first, since we're here, Castelia City, we gotta go to Meloetta, and I think it's down the dark alleyway right here. And yes, we're going down the dark alleyway, and we're going into this little club part right here. And if you talk to this individual, the set you brought me reminded me of a long, uh, long ago melody from the fringes of my sep sepia toned memories. It, it was a song my mother loved. It made me feel so nostalgic. Would you like to hear the melody? Sure. So you get to hear the the song right here, and from there it's gonna activate the real uh, Meloetta code or the real Meloetta Pokemon. Or this Pokemon right here. And, well, as you can see, this Pokemon is just loving it. Look at that. Oh, wow. Well, would you look at that? It's just dancing freely and all that crud. Wow. Holy crud. Okay. Alrighty. And, whoa. <laughs> Meloetta remembered the the song or the the attack relic song and forgotten. Okay, he's trying to learn relic song. Can't learn more than four moves, so delete one. Okay, so from there we, we can just teach it uh, relic song. And well, it looks like I'm just gonna take away round because it's really not not a good attack right there. So there we go, tada! And relic song has been learned. And. Of course, she'll be coming back into our Pokeball. My mother once told me of a Pokemon that played a melody and danced so lightly that it filled people's hearts with joy. Then sorrow darkened the entire world and the Pokemon lost the melody. Also, at the, at the time, some red shoes were lost somewhere. When you came through the door, I remember the melody. And the Pokemon that had forgotten how to dance began to step lightly once more. You are the inspiration. You are the mysterious child. Huh. Well, would you look at that? And I'm wearing red shoes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be going into the next event, and that will be the Genesect event. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back in, uh, I believe, Route 2. I don't even know. Somewhere around here. But we have to go all the way back right here, guys, and go into, you know, the little labyrinth area that, you know, we had a little bit of trouble going through. Yeah, that labyrinth. And, uh, well, in this event right here, we're going to be trying to capture or trying to find uh, Genesect. And well, there there is a battle in uh, there. There is a battle that goes with it and all that crud. And uh, what else did we do? Oh yeah, if you guys see me battling some of the other trainers right here, it's probably because of uh, the adventure I had to take to get to this point. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit while I'm trying to find this little secret location. So uh, a while back. When I was playing Pokemon Black and uh, Platinum, obviously, um, you know, I battled everybody right here, and, you know, I was just putting off the event Pokemon for a long, long time. I mean, I remember having it. I remember, I remember having a, in like a month, about a year ago, where I was actually finishing most of the events in the VBA emulators and all that stuff, and, well, never really got around to the Nintendo DS ones because, unfortunately, uh, I, <laughs> me being uh, me being the person who I am, I completely deleted them. Don't know why. Either that, or I just couldn't find the uh, the files that you know I was trying to look for. So that's what came of that. And uh, well, 
as you guys pro could probably already tell, we're, we're here two years later, okay? Yeah, I just prolonged everything, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> but the positive side to this is because, uh, because of uh, the upgrades that we made on our channel, you know, computer-wise and everything, um, this came to be. Now, I did have to speed up a lot of this, this whole adventure. Obviously, I had to put in some cheats to get, uh, get around quicker and all that crud. Um, for Pokemon Black in specific, like in general, yeah, it was pretty hard for me to actually have patience with this because if I if I use the go through walls cheat and there's people running around and they go through the wrong spots that they were not supposed to be in, bam, we get ourselves a frozen game. And the amount of times this game froze on me, it was ridiculous. It really was. And <laughs> never again. I'm just telling you that right now. So here we are in the little secret location that we were trying to get into you go in here and someone finally notices who you are he's like oh it's just a kid you it couldn't be the fact that you were you're here means you came to learn of a secret uh, the secret of Genesect we team plasma revived Genesect from a fossil then we enhanced the Pokemon with the power of science it is the strongest Pokemon in history but our Lord Ed was not interested in this Genesec that was not modified by the power of science. Science damages the natural beauty of Pokemon. They're perfect beings. That's why he said. So our research was halted and this faculty was closed. However, the Genesec research is all mine. So if you want to know Genesec's secret, you'll have to beat me in a battle. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and uh, wreck this guy's... Uh, wreck this guy's life just a little bit so here it is guys we're battling a scientist and he does have two Pokemon and like I said yeah we're gonna wreck this guy badly because well you know our Pokemon are at level 80 and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and just get the revenge that we need and yeah he's gonna be using X specials X attacks X everything but guess what revenge does it all and look at that clink has been defeated and, well, he's going to be coming out with a clang. Do I have... Yes, I do. Hot shot. So, you guys are already looking at my Pokemon. Like, they weren't at level 80 the last time I seen them. Yes, guys, I know, I know. But, hey, again, I just told my story. I literally had to go through hell and back just to get to this specific point so I can make these episodes for you guys. There you go. And we have the event. And look at that. Oh, yes. Dudley has been defeated. <laughs> Obviously, he's not part of the Dudley boys. I've lost everything. I forgot my duty as a scientist is to make the world happy. So, this must be where I, what I get for trying to make a Pokemon into a tool for fighting. I'm going to wash my hands of this genesis matter. I don't need this anymore. I'll give this to you. And we get ourselves a shock drive. And the item I, I just gave you was made for Genesec. When it holds the item like this, it changes its type to whatever move called Tech or to a tight or wait 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 changes the type of the move Technoblast so it always has an advantage really huh there was another one in my other pocket and we got ourselves a burn drive oh shoot and what is he doing okay so he's done and what do we get right here we find ourselves a dubious disc and I think we've already collected that before okay so as you guys can already see, we got these items, and I, th and well, I'm gonna have to look for them right here because, well, of course, you know, me, me being me, I kind of got the extra items right here. So let's go right ahead and find these items. Um, so one thing is for sure that you know they're saying, oh, look at that, shock drive and burn drive. Okay, techno blast to electro electric attack, and then that's a fire type. Oh, not bad. Okay. Oh shoot. So there's a chill drive, ice type. Huh. So, the story goes with Genesect that, you know, uh, well, the rumor is that the fossil that has been revived happened to be a Kabutops because it's a predator Pokemon and all that crud. And, uh, I mean, I do believe, I do believe it is, uh, I do believe it is, uh, what was it called, a Kabutops? It slightly looks like it. And, uh, well... I don't know. I don't know when they're gonna actually like, you know, uncover that that little secret. So I'll be right back for the final event right here, guys. Uh, this one requires three more Pokemon to actually be put onto this whole situation right here. So I'll be right back with you guys.
Alrighty guys, so here we are back in Icarus or Icarus City, whatever you guys like to call it. And well, this event requires three battle Pokemon. Kabalian, Verizian, and Terrakian. And well, you need it with Keldeo. And uh, think, of, think of those three legendary Pokemon as the big brothers to Keldeo. It's just, uh, it hasn't fully grown and it needs its big brothers to just like back it up. But we're going to be doing it the event right here just to show you guys what actually happens when uh, you, you combine these three together. Again, I do not know why event Pokemon were ever needed. I mean, shoot. Well, I, I kind of get the idea, but I mean, you know, people can cheat. People can cheat. So all you have to do is go all the way back here, and like I said before guys, if we actually battle some trainers, it's because, well, good old Draven forgot to, or just didn't bother to do so. More than likely it's just he didn't bother to do so, so, yeah. Let's go right here, don't want to battle you, and I think I've already battled you. Nope. Didn't battle you. So, let's go right ahead and speed this up right here, because, well, we don't need to be battling anybody anymore. So, let's go ahead and wreck her life with the next scissors, and just like that, Chichino has been defeated. And give me my barrier, please. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go straight up here. And... We're moving automatically. Look at his little hill right here. Keldeo seems to be want to get out of the Pokeball. Will you let it out? Yes, I will. So here it is. We're jumping out with Keldeo. And an old man just appears. He's like, oh, that Pokemon. It couldn't be. A bright red mane and a lush tail. And it's single noble horn. It's exactly like the old legend. For Keldeo and the three legendary Pokemon of Unova, Kabalian, Karakian, and Verizian, this forest has, uh, has a special meaning. It seems uh, like it would li it would be best if you knew this story as well. Would you would you mind listening to this old man's story for a moment? I have no choice whatsoever. Long ago, when a war between people started an intense fire in this forest, a single young Pokemon was separated from its parents. Kabalian, Terrakian, and Verizian teamed up to take care of this Pokemon. The three acted as its parents and taught it knowledge and the moves it needed to survive. The young Pokemon grew rapidly and developed a new power, or a developed a power to surpass its three caretakers. However, one day the Pokemon disappeared from the forest. No one knows why, but when it, when I think about it, young ones always reckless and drawn to adventure. That is true. And would you look at that? These three Pokemon are now appearing, and for the first time in a long time, look at that. They're like, oh damn! Look at that. It looks like they are all happy to see one another again. I wonder if those three are trying to teach Keldeo something. Kabalion, Terrakian, and Verizion are trying to teach Keldeo a new move, Secret Sword. Yes. Okay, so I can't learn more than four moves, so let's go ahead and take one of them out. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take away, you know, uh, Retaliate. It really... It's really not that important. We're not going to really use this Pokemon or anything. And, well, if it weren't for you, these Pokemon would have never been able to see each other again. Here in the forest, it holds so many memories for them. I'm sure they were very happy that they were able to meet a trainer like you. And just like that, all these Pokemon are coming back. Oh, wow. They're coming back to Daddy. To Papa. And, well, look at that. Four Pokeballs and all. <laughs> and what's next? Nothing? Okay, so let's see. A, Verd a, a verdant or verdant forest, a clear water for Pokemon. This forest is like paradise. It's also very important for people, so I want to take good care of it. Oh, okay. So that right there, guys, is uh, was the the legendary events, the three events that we were talking about. In the next episode, we are going to be doing the Weather Genie Pokemon event. Yeah. Uh, I seem to have had a video out there in my computer that kind of captured me capturing a Pokemon, a specific Pokemon, and uh, yeah. But we're going to fix that all up right here. So stay tuned, guys. In the next adventure, we're going to be doing the whole, yeah, Weather Genie Pokemon event. The Roaming Pokemon! I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.